Hey guys, Zuldin here, and welcome back to another episode of a Scrap Mechanic. What in the world is going on with my little, <laughs> my little Jack? It seems a little bit off the floor. Hope y'all are doing well. I just made a plate on wheels. I know it's it. This is this is going to be a semi truck, but right now it's just uh, well, it's a platform with some wheels. I, I really wanted to get something that felt like a semi to load, um, well, a, a, or an 18-wheeler, whatever you want to call it, so that I could load those crates of vegetables and stuff. And I've been thinking about some different designs, and I think I've come up with something pretty simple here. I'd like to do something like a box truck. And what was interesting to me is I've always built wheels on the outside. But I was thinking to myself, so one, I want to kind of protect my wheels, and two, I want it to kind of look like a frame you know like kind of like if you look at a truck you know you'd see like a little fender wheel and stuff so i figured that i would make it like this and kind of expand out and it doesn't look like it's going to be too wide for the wheelbase the wheelbase looks good enough to be able to take normal turns so we're going to try it out a little bit here let me go ahead and lower it and i guess we're going to use metal for this entire frame and we can use like wood on the trailer here so without <laughs> without getting too uh, artistic I think I'm just gonna go for a like a box design let's see if I could do that I'm gonna cut away some of these pieces so just bear with me for a minute here uh, let's see I need to come behind the seat and let's see I'm gonna I got some glass and stuff too I'm gonna end up doing some windows will you shut up craft bot I'm trying to pay I'm trying to uh, concentrate here Man, the chef bot and the craft bot, they always yelling about something. Okay, let's go ahead and um, take away that. And then we'll take away that. Then this. And I know you guys are probably like, Z, do not build in third person. Listen, I'm used to this. I like it like this. Sometimes I do go in first. but Okay, so we definitely need to come across like this with one more. And I, I don't know, that looks pretty good to tell you the truth. If we were to do something like this instead, does that look all right? Yeah, I kind of I kind of like the way that looks. But honestly, I want to come a little bit higher here. And what about if we just did it like this? That is not what I want. You see, now you guys are, are right about the first person thing. It would definitely benefit me here. I think I want to do the same thing in all of these corners, at least at the bottom. And it's going to feel a little bit better. And this is going to be the little entrance side. I don't think that makes a big difference, but it is what it is. And here, we're going to have glass that uh, comes up front here. And it should be good. Uh, so, that's the little box. And I guess we could put the engines inside and stuff, too. That way, it'll be, like, protected more. I have a couple of engines that are upgraded here. And I think it will work. I don't know if I have enough wheels and stuff, but we'll see. All right, so we've got that, and now we need to connect the steering to the little bearings that I have set up, and we need to reverse those because you just always do. It's the weirdest thing. And now I need to connect this engines to the wheels. So I guess I, yeah, I kind of want to do double wheels for the back. That would mean putting... I mean, I'm not even opposed to have it like double-double, like too wide as well. I'm really not sure how that's going to work yet, but I know that I'm going to need... Yeah, I only made enough uh, four-wheel trailer, so let me come down with this again, just like this. I might need to make it a little bit longer. We did... I did four, and if I did a bearing... Yeah, that is not close enough. I need it one more out, so let's take it... We'll just make it two out for for good measure. <clears throat> and now we'll do... Because they need to be right next to each other, I do believe. We'll do two, three, four, like that. And two, three, four. Perfect. And now if I do the bearings and the wheels, they're right next to one another. That should work out pretty well, I think. And I'm probably going to need some more bearings too, but that's just scrap. All right. So I've got I've got this thing put together really well. Now I want some sort of a fender well uh, for at least the front, and I think I'm gonna make it extend out both ways. So we can get a fender well just by coming down and um, kind of just like making a wall here. We're gonna do it on 
centered, just like that. And if we, let's see, how do we want to do this? We want to, let's delete all of this, except for that. And how about we delete that too? That looks pretty solid. Should we make it come down one more? I don't think so. I think half the wheel height is is plenty. And what about right here? Should we kind of do the same thing? Let's make the wall. Oh, we definitely going to need to come out more then. If we're going to do it like that. Let's see. Will this work out okay? Let's make that and... Actually, let's just extend it like that. Uh, what did I just do here? I think I just made it too thick. Okay, that, uh, you know, I should probably come out even one more. Okay, and if I took that away, we're looking pretty good right there. So if I did... I don't know, that looks pretty good. We probably need to come up again, just like that, like we did before. Uh-oh. What did I? Oh, <laughs> I just took a piece of scrap metal out of my base. No big deal. Okay, so that actually looks pretty darn good. I think what I need to do is just make sure it's... I don't know if I want gas tank access underneath here or what. The gas tank might be on the back. Yeah, that looks solid, man. That looks really solid. I kind of want to go one more out. Kind of. And let's make the bed come out by two as well and then we'll just slap this thing down the whole way if we have enough wait no that is not what I want because it's on the outside I need to come inside of it like this and I'll do I'll just do the cutouts instead okay perfect so it needs to come off by two all the way across and then I just need to cut out the shapes for the wheels, which are like this, like this. No. <laughs> no, okay, now I'll go in the first person, guys. You got me. <laughs> I'll go in the first person now. You got me. Okay, uh, let's see. We had it. Yeah, it's too wide right here, but it's only like this. That looks better. And, uh, yeah, I think that's it. I think that's the way we had it. Is it too wide like this? It is. It is. All right. We got it. We got it. We got it. It looks great. And I just need to do this front. And it's going to be just like this. Perfect. <laughs> All right. Now we just need to put in the front. And it's getting dark on us. We're going to have to wait until the daytime to go a little bit further. All right, I edited it just a slight bit so that I can do some headlights right here. And I think I want them to come out just like that. They're, they're going to just stick out just a little bit, and that's fine. I have it uh, like that on both sides. And that should be pretty good. I want to. I know there's headlight headlights, but these will work fine, to tell you the truth. And I gave it just a little bit of shape up front just because it was looking a little square and there's not a whole bunch else that I could do outside of that. But what I think I'm going to do now is add the back glass. And uh, honestly, we'd want to color this at some point, I think, like just paint the whole thing. But I haven't messed with painting at all. And I should have just enough right here. We, you know, there's no reason to leave this um to put glass right there because I'll be getting out on both sides I think but I raised this up just a little bit so I can actually get out and it looks good and I think I am satisfied with this design I could bring it down just a little bit more up front if I wanted to like let's say like that and just add a little bit of curvature and I think that's about the most that I would want to do you know as far as shape goes just to give it a little bit of shape. And I think that should be good right there. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. I am pretty happy with that. It, it still allows me to get out and in. And yeah, I like it. Okay, perfect. So 
the weird thing is the glass right here. It, it without a border, it's gonna look kind of funny. I do believe. Yeah, I was afraid of that. What happens if we just border it with the actual metal? Bordering it with the metal up top, just like it was before, is... Yeah, that works pretty good. And I st I want to put a lid on it, too. So, if we just extend that out and make it like that, that's perfect. It is a little dark in here. <laughs> and seeing my eyeballs is kind of weird. I don't know if it actually lets me get out now. Yeah, it does. It still does. Okay. It's it's tight, but <laughs> it works. It doesn't, it doesn't need to be perfect but I think this is fine okay so we got it all together now I'm not gonna attempt to drive this thing off of the bridge yet oh man it is front heavy like crazy <laughs> that's okay that's all right uh, let's move this out to like right here perfect and now we could get in and do I have these engines set? No, I don't. Um, let's see. If I shift right click, yeah, there we go. And I don't have much gas to start with here, but this should be fine. All right, perfect. Now I should be able to move. Um, okay. Oh, I have my, apparently I have my wheels reversed or something like that. Let's get out and change this. Let's see here. What do I have going on here? I have uh, Yeah, I had the wheels turned a different way. Okay, let's make sure that all are facing the same direction Now there we go. Okay, we need to get in first person to be able to drive this sucker now. Oh My god, but you can still look at the back. You can turn around and stuff I wish there was a rearview mirror we could put but honestly this this looks like it's gonna work pretty darn well. Okay, so now we have to make a trailer for this thing. But it seems like it drives pretty good. Let's go in third person again. And, oh, yeah, it, <laughs> it's, it's a little bit wonky when it comes to, uh oh, now this is a problem because I can't get out here. Uh, I, I just need to put it on the lift. There we go. <laughs> Maybe. Maybe having a top and the back and the front and just the sides open is a bad deal. Now I know what it's like to really wreck one of these in real life. Okay, so if we made a trailer for this, there's two different ways that we could go. Naturally, we can make like a... Excuse me? What's going on here? I'm hearing bots. We can make a, uh, a gooseneck for it. You know, like you would see, be able to see typical trailers. But I don't think that's a smart idea. Typically, when you don't connect stuff in Scrap Mechanic and you just pull it... Like, let's say that I would make a fish hook type design, right? And I would just make a trailer that would jack in and hook on to this thing. What would likely happen is the friction that it would cause between the two deals would go all wonky. And sometimes when you put things in a bind, like when it goes over hills or in turns, it can really mess stuff up. And because we'll be loading cargo, I don't think it would be too good. So I think whatever design that we go with, we're going to want to weld, right? Um, and the easiest way to do this is just have a connector point, you know, something that's relatively strong, uh, like metal and it would be fine. And we would have like a connector point that we would just set up. So if we were to do two on two metal, just like, uh, well, we would want a hitch too, right? We would want it to be able to bend with us. I think that would be the best way to go. So let's put it back on the lift and lower it down. And if we took, like, some sort of turning mechanism, I think it would be good. Let's set it up. We want it to be fairly close to the end because we don't want a whole lot of friction to go up and down like this. What is going on with the bots, man? What is going on? They just coming out the woodwork today. I haven't had this many bots around. Uh, there was recently some updates to Scrap Mechanics, so... I don't know. The, the challenge mode is available now, which I thought was interesting. But I think I've played that before. Okay, so if we were to take this setup right here, we'll make it longer than it has to be. That way... Oh, that's glass. Uh, we'll make it longer than it has to be. That way we'll actually know where the um, where it stops. Uh, actually, I don't want it like that. We need to start it on that. 
yeah that way we'll actually know where it stops because it needs to be longer than it is wide because we need the flexibility for it but when it comes time to weld it it's really going to be something so what we're going to do is we're going to just build on to this concept right here and i think i'm going to take these away and just add another type of block I mean, stone is just about as durable. Let's see, durability for this is three. Durability for this is three. Durability for metal is actually five. We do have some good metal though. I think maybe good metal might be the answer here. Um, and I need like, what? I, I got two tires. I think I need two more tires to make this work good. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna go grab those. Well, I could drive there, I suppose. I'll be right back though. I think I'm ready to build the trailer out. I just wanted to kind of widen or check the width of this. It's actually 14 blocks wide is the truck. And I think this tier two metal block is going to be uh, the joint that we keep for that. So we're going to want to have probably the same kind of joint right here so it can just connect. So I think what we'll do is take the metal blocks that I have and we're just going to place this right in the middle and make it extend out all right so the entire deal will actually i probably want it a little longer than that the entire do do we not have enough why does it not want me to maybe it's because i was in the way i don't know <laughs> all right anyway so this is how it's going to connect right here it's going to connect to that piece right there we're just going to take the welding tool and actually put them together and i think it's going to work out just fine and that should leave it enough room to actually turn if not we can always lengthen it and it'll be easier speaking of lengthen we need to get this trailer to where it can hold a reputable amount of stuff so let's get it as long as we can possibly get it with the wood that we have on us just 20 more that's not going to be real long and that's probably what? That's probably like eight of those actual, um, eight of those things. Now, I was, I was kind of thinking that I would put like a rack that I had over there. But I think a basket might be good too. Honestly, getting them to dump straight into a basket would probably be kind of weird because that thing looks like it ejects from wherever. So it might... It might be a little strange, but we'll we'll cross that bridge when we get there. I kind of need to try it out first. This could be the Mark One, like we like we always have. So I'm coming in in for 14 wide. We actually come in five before we put down the wheel, and I think I'm gonna stick with that as well. I don't know if it should be a little bit wider due to the the way that I mean we'll have a lot more weight on this thing than this thing, right? So maybe we ought to come out a little bit wider for this or put double tires. I'm not too sure what the right answer is, but I have a little bit of stone. Uh, we could use metal as well, too. I have I have quite a bit of metal. We'll use metal for the bracings and let's go three wide. So this will that'll make it a little bit, um, I guess you could say a little bit, a little bit wider than this, because if I put a tire on here, it's going to be even with the trailer and that works out pretty well. Let's just draw out a straight line and we want it space two away. So we'll put that down and let's see the length on these are one, two, three, four. So we should be fine with that and with it on the bottom. So we don't need these. We'll take those away and then we'll do the same thing for here. And they only need to be a couple back. So two away, four down, right? One, two, three, four. Four, is that right? Yeah, that's four. And uh, same thing. Let's draw the line. And one, two, three, four. We'll take these away, and we'll put bearings on this bad boy. And it, the, the the wheels don't actually need to turn on this. They don't need they don't need turning because we'll be steering it from the front. This will just be a trailer, right? It'll be a lot to connect to seats anyway, every time we'd want to do it, if that would be the case. All right, and we'll take our four wheels and we'll set them up to where they are a little bit below the actual deal. Actually, let's do this. That was kind of weird, but it, it should work. Okay, so the, the question is, can we just use the weld tool now? on it uh we can connect this and we can weld it to that 
just like that. And that works out really well, actually. And now all we have to do is splice it in the middle or away, well, away from, excuse me? Is this fin the whale gonna hang me up every time I do this? God dang it. I don't know if this is too long or not, but we can always, we can always extend it. Let's just see how it drives, shall we? Um, let's see, it's it's very strong, it's strong, plenty enough, strong enough to pull it. All the wheels are turning, which means everything has contact on the ground. Heck, man, I think, I think we got something here. Let's bring it over to, uh oh, let's bring it over to, uh, uh oh, wow, it's squirrely now, though. It's a little squirrely now. Let's bring it over to the veggie station or the packing station and see what we could do. All right, here we are. And I got to admit, it's kind of squirrely, you guys. It is kind of squirrely. So with a setup like this, honestly, we can probably just take the well tool. Uh, let's see. Do we have... Let's put this on the jack. Oh, we can't put it on the jack anymore. That's true. We could put this on the jack and that kind of gives us... Well, we don't want to do it like that because we'll never be able to get out of here. Let's put it going out that way, shall we? Perfect. Okay. So if we were to take, we can actually put this like right here and lift it just so we could see what's underneath, but it's not going to show. I know I have, there it is. That's what I'm looking for right there. So if we were to take, just to get this on it, if we were to take a, like a, a, a pillar, Dang it. Why did I not keep this on? Uh, <laughs> why did I not keep this on the, the lift? There we go. Now we can lower it, actually lower than it, it needs to be, and that will work. Okay, so what I'll do for now, because this is like in the middle or something, I'll just poke this up a few at a length, and I'll take... I kind of made this thing so janky. I'll take this, and I'll weld it on like that. There we go. And see, from here on out, it's going to be a little bit different because we'll just be able to weld these on individually, I believe. I'm thirsty. Let's, uh, you know, I got enough, but you know, I don't want to use my bananas. <laughs> I don't. I think I'm just going to use this. Is This is what I have these things here for anyway. Did I just throw those out? God dang it. Veggie burger. There we go. We were low enough on hunger to, to, to do it anyway. All right. So let's lift this up now and we'll kill that. And now... We have everything welded so it should be good i you know honestly i don't even think we need a rack like that it's it's probably fine without it we don't have any way to pack the bananas do i have enough beets to pack no we don't have any more packing but what i was thinking is if we were to build some sort of basket on that thing i don't exactly know i think it flies out the center every time but the trajectory might be kind of random it might be kind of fun building a basket that would catch it all but right now this is Plenty good, I do believe. Let's uh, let's get in the truck and see how we can hold the weight. And you know what? Y'all are going to laugh at me, but I need to take a screenshot for the thumbnail before I get too involved. But you know, it, handles, it handles pretty well, I think. It really does. It really does. So we need to turn around and we need to go back that away. Uh, let's see if we can turn this thing around for real. How sharp can we turn back? Not super. Tell you what, let's go through the loading zone because backing up might not be the easiest thing to do. But you know what? It pulls the weight. It definitely pulls the weight and I'm really, really glad about that. Oh, don't tell me. We ran out of fuel? Oh, we ran out of fuel on the back end. All right, that's okay. I have a little bit of gas left on me. Let's do that. All right, that should be fine to take it back. I should have brought more gas with me, but oh well, it is what it is. All right, let's go. Where exactly is this thing? I don't think the road leads to it, but we can go back there and do it. Getting through that little thing right there might be an issue. So let's just go around it. All right, that little rocky ledge. There's some trees in the way, but that's all right. Let's hope we don't snag on anything. It doesn't look like we did. Okay, uh, honestly, it's taken, it's taken it quite well. I like it, man. I like it. Hold on, let me get some screenies. All right, vanity hour is over. I got my screenies taken. Let's see if we could get this sucker up the way. All right, it is a little having a little bit of trouble taking this turn, 
but I think in that we could just back up a little bit and it'll be okay. Oh, don't tell me I ran out of fuel. No. All right. First of all, let's get this the heck out of the way. Second of all, we have a, uh, I have a little bit of gas in the other engine, I think, and it should be good to go. All right. I got some gas now. We should be good. It's turning dark on us, but we're going to go anyway to finish off the voyage. There we go. So it goes through all the signs and stuff. No problem. It gets here. And I wonder if we could just pull up and it'll take it. Let's just pull it up right here and see what happens, man. All right. Uh, let's... There we go. We should be okay right here. All right. Everything is in. Let's just back it up. Okay, now, <laughs> let's get out here and uh, hit the button. Oh, baby, it sucked it right off of the, <laughs> it's, it sucked it right off of the damn rack. I like it. So does it, uh, do, do we have, do we have, what did it take? <gasps> yes, we got tomatoes. Nice, man. All right. I want to wait until daytime so you guys get to see what's going on here. Alright, I suppose it's light enough to actually get this party started. I want to see this thing in action now. Look at that, man. <laughs> it happens pretty fast, doesn't it? It'll take them right off the trailer. It should be... Does it? Is it going to get the carrots too? It did it! It took the whole thing. <laughs> very, very nice, man. My little janky to set up worked good. And now if we take a look at the crops or our inventory in here, it's going to show that I have five tomatoes, two beets, and two carrots. What's it take to make uh, the... Okay, the mountable spud gun is different. We need bananas and blueberries. For the regular spud gun, it takes blueberries, oranges, and this. This is... Uh, that's one of them caged guys, right? Uh, for this, we need broccoli... For this, we need pineapples, a bunch of fruits that we don't have. But the good news is because we have tomatoes that we put in, we can get orange seeds, which we grabbed. And now for blueberries, we'll need beet seeds. So one more deal of beet seeds and uh, we'll be able to upgrade. As far as pineapple seeds go, we'll either need to... And broccoli seeds, we'll either need to find those or we'll need to find another one of these things somewhere in the world. Now, there's another packing station that's a little bit further down the road. I'll have to explore that one. I don't know if we'll do that off camera or not, but for the most part, getting the spud gun, we're a little bit closer. I'm, I'm glad to say that. I know the videos are a little sporadic uh, here and there lately, guys. Just do the videos are uh, not performing like they were at first with Scrap Mechanic Survival. I guess general interest uh, of the game is dwindling a little bit. I'm still having fun with it, but I just don't play it as much as I was before. I've been doing a lot of live streaming on Twitch as well as working on my reaction videos uh, for my other YouTube channel. If you guys don't know about those, check the links in the description below for both of those. I'd really love to see you there. Other than that, guys, I think we're going to head home with our semi. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, give me some dab on that like button to show you support, and you can subscribe to the channel for more daily videos. Thanks so much for watching. As always, this is Zuljan signing off, and we'll see you next time.